Allow a bit of story time before I start the review. Geekbike.com contacted me if I would like to review one of their products. Um, they have a lot of gadgets, a lot of stuff that I'm interested in like laser cutters and power stations, but all of those are fairly pricey. So we had to start somewhere cheaper. And there are a lot of kitchen and home stuff as well. And I picked this air fryer toaster oven in particular because my understanding is this is just like a small oven. Our family has a small holiday home where we have no built-in kitchen appliances. A cooktop is just a separate induction cooktop, not a built-in one, and there is no oven. Therefore, I think it would be a great use there. We only stay there when there is good weather and we tend to cook outside on the terrace. So something movable and mobile is a plus. This Comdu model is for the European market, shipped from an EU store, but there are similar models for the US market as well. This air fryer has a 25 liter capacity, rated at 1800 watts, but when I measured it, it was drawing around 1250 watts, switching the heating element on and off. There are four heating elements on the top, and then two more at the bottom, and of course there is a fan on top to circulate the air. There are four tray positions, and the use of them is marked on the front glass, which is a great help. There is also a removable tray at the bottom to collect the falling food and grease. Besides the air fryer itself, you get four different trays, a pair of oven mitts, and user manual, and also a small recipe book. After all, it takes up less space and probably uses less power to cook the same amount of food. I think it would be also great for RVs or campsites where shore power is available. This model can be set from all the way down to 15 degrees Celsius up to 230 degrees. So it could be used to dehydrate food or drying your 3D printing filament, probably not at the same time. Using this model is very easy. There is a big on-off button in the middle and then pre 10 presets on the right side. All these just preset the temperature and the time for the machine. But you can always adjust the time and the temperature itself using the time and the temperature and the up and down buttons on the left side. Once it is set, you just press preheat and wait for the machine to heat up. Once it is ready, the machine will beep and then add food appears on the screen. You open the door, you put your food in and close the door and pre press the start pause button. If you open the door at any point, the timer will pause. At the end, the machine will beep and stop the timer and the heat. Just remove the food, press your on-off button. After you turn off the machine, it will start the fan to cool the unit down. Just let it finish and it will stop automatically. Since I arranged for this, I was the one using it up until now, but I'm not really the cooking person in the family. It was very easy for me to operate. I find it a time saver, as besides preparing the food, which is mostly ending it to the tray, I put it in, I take it out when it's done. I have two small kids. The first bigger meal was 10 chicken wings and half a kilo of chips, which I was able to cook together in the air fryer. That was enough for us. But you can always split the portions and start cooking the second portion whilst you are eating what is already done. For the Saturday I did chicken drumsticks, breast, cheese balls and fries in two separate cooking and finally put everything back into the air fryer in the warm-up mode to heat up everything quickly before serving it. My first test was the toaster function. I reheat some leftover sandwiches that my kid did not eat at school and I melt cheese on top of it. I use the toaster program for that in the medium settings. Quick and easy to warm up food, it only takes a couple of minutes to complete. And for this obviously you need the air fryer toaster oven combo. After that I was out with my friends playing board games for the weekend and took the air fryer with me. I only ended up using it once to cook some uh, store-bought sausages. I just put them onto the tray, I cooked them for 15 minutes on 230 Celsius. And that was pretty much all. I didn't turn the sausages around. I think the, uh, the combination of the heating elements on the top and the bottom uh, allowed me to cook these uh, sausages more or less evenly. And of course the end result was great. Uh, we had some warm food and my friends were happy as well. 
The next time I was using the device, it was dinner time, and uh, I had a silicone muffin mold. I put eggs in each of these, uh, you know, muffin uh, places, and I just sprinkled some cheese on top. And also I put a few slices of bacon on the tray below. I was cooking this whole thing for 10 minutes in 220 centigrade, which was optimal to get the eggs just right. I think this is our favorite dish so far that I can prepare in the air fryer. And I think this is where it shows how much quicker it is, is to prepare in this relatively smaller size oven than it would take to do the same in a full size oven. The next meal was what I already mentioned. So I had 10 chicken wings and I had about 5, uh, 0.5 kilos of chips that was all cooked at 230 degrees for 30 minutes. I did not turn or stir anything, I just, just you know, literally left everything in the oven for 30 minutes. And of course, uh, the uh, wings got some uh, chicken spice and olive oil before, and the chips also got some salt and pepper and olive oil before cooking. But that was all it, and then it was just uh, placed on the tray and uh, yeah, put into the oven. As you can see the video which is playing now. The next was a bigger meal that I prepared in two uh, different settings. This is something that I already mentioned and I just use the preheat or the keep warm functionality or uh, program to keep everything warm at the end. Again there was a sausages and drumsticks and breast and uh, chips and everything turned out to be very delicious and of course well cooked. So far so good. We are all happy with the results and I think the food we tested so far is probably the best suited for this air fryer. I'm not sure if I would use the food dehydrator option because the two mesh trays that are provided does not offer a lot of space to dehydrate much food at once. I have a specific food dehydrator in which I can uh, stack five trays that are much bigger. So I think it is uh, much easier to uh, dehydrate a bigger batch in those specific uh, products than in this food dehydrator. But the option is there. Let me share some more considerations about this machine. Probably the first and foremost what I would like to mention that there are no filters in this machine. Therefore it gets fairly smelly when cooking. Especially if you have oily or spicy food that uh, is potentially dripping down and maybe it's going to drip on the bottom heater element as well. So I think if it's possible I would probably mostly use this unit outside. The product is all sheet metal outside and there is a hot sticker on the top. But it doesn't get awfully hot but it also vents out a lot of hot air at the back. Therefore, I would not operate this in a colo space. I mean, I wouldn't operate it in a built-in cabinet. When it comes to clinic, it is like a traditional oven, but of course it is smaller. Depending on the food, oil and grease does spatter on the sides and the top and the door as well. As you can see in some of the video footage, I did not use the tray all the time because I was afraid that it would block the direct heat which is coming from the bottom heating element. Therefore, the last removable tray was pick picking up most of the dripping oils and the grease which obviously needs to be cleaned as well. In terms of the difference between this oven style air fryer and the traditional basket style air fryer is that in the basket style, the basket can be removed and cleaned more easily. On the other hand, I think there is more cooking service in this oven. I was able to cook meat and chips at the same time without any issues. And when I was cooking the meat or the chips, I was able to place all of them in a single layer. So probably that was the reason why I didn't have to stir or flip them around during cooking. And of course, as the name suggests, this is a toaster oven as well. So you can do all the same things like grilled sandwiches and toast that you would probably struggle to do in a basket style air fryer. So all in all, I'm very happy with this air fryer toaster oven and I'm pretty sure we will put it into good use in our holiday home. And in the next review, I will hopefully get a product which is somewhat more closer to the topic of this channel. If you want to purchase this product, I will link video description, but I would also add a few other oven style models that are available at geekbuying.com. These are affiliated links, so if you buy them, that will help me out as well. Geekbike.com also has promotions that change a lot. I will include the current discounts, but some of those may expire if you watch this video later. But I think that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next video.